Good morning. I just wanted to get on here and show you a little bit about how I plan everything in one planner. So I actually have all of these planners. Let me get my other one here, my other two. And so everything that I am planning, so I have my budget or financial planner, I have my business planner, I have my uh, vacation or event planner, I have my wellness and spiritual planner, I have my catch-all planner. So all of those, I actually wanted to show you how I plan everything in the one planner. And this is the only thing that I carry around with me. So I absolutely am loving this Disney planner that I actually got at Walmart on clearance. Um, I think it was like $10 on clearance. It's so cute. So I actually do a little bit of, um, I guess they call it Franken planning. Some people call it um, combination planning, whatever you want to call it. So these front pages are from this book here. And like this is this next week. I have split up my three days into home, you know, what's going on at home, what's going on at work, and what's going on in my business or my side hustles. And so all of that is there. And then I actually plan three months at a time. So I have November's plan in here, December's plan in here, and then you'll see October again. Let me move that over so you can see. October's tab is over here again. And this is my journal, the dashboard planner. This is what I want to keep track of my errands, what I need to buy, my calls and emails, bills to pay, and what I want to focus on now. Um, I can also cover these up with box stickers. Let me show you the ones that I use. You can find them here. These are Happy Planner um, box stickers, and I can actually use these stickers right here to cover these up if I don't want to track a shopping list or bills to pay or whatever, and I can just completely customize that and change that. So not every week will I have a bill to pay or enough to put in here to fill that up so I can cover that up. This is basically a journal um, of what's going on in my week. So um, like last week I put how long I worked, how many hours, what was on TV, was it an awesome day, what did I do at home, my meals, and like I said, I have to go back in here um, and finish um, writing all of that down. So again, you've got November and December. Once October is done, I will stick January in here. So at all times, I have three months of plans. Then I made a dashboard, which I will come back in here and show you how I decorate this dashboard. Uh, this right here is my best friend. This is a the Happy Planner Punch. I absolutely love this. I use it every day. Um... And you're going to see why I do it. I have hole punched this to put in here. This is my daily planner. I need to know on Monday through Friday what's going on hourly, what's going on at my home, my work, my Etsy, my blog, my park lane, my closet candy, anything financial, my meal planner, and my health situation down here. Thankful, grateful, blessed. I put the verse of the day. This is from my app, my Bible, my version app that pops up a verse of the day every day. I just write that down and what the main um, what the main theme is of that verse and then what was on TV that I wanted to watch that day. I have three months once again on here so I can see the dates coming up. Um, though th This is helpful for meetings and events and vacations, days off, that kind of thing. So I like that there and that's already dated. These pages themselves are undated. So I will just write Tuesday, uh, the 12th of October, or you can use stickers or whatever you want to do there. This is an, an insert that is available in my Redefine Your Plans Etsy shop, and I will link it below um, in the video. But as you can see, I rescheduled some things at work. 
Um, so I have this, this actually, this daily planner, I only keep a month in it. Okay. Just a month because that's a lot of pages. If you have three months of daily plans, this next one that is green is my, um, financial planner. So I have all of my, um, financials in here, my bills to pay, then my bill by paycheck. This is really, I find this to be very helpful. The source of the income, the date of the paycheck, the paycheck number, if you want to document that, um, and then the amount of the paycheck. Any bills that need to come out of this total would be marked here, and any expenses that you have, like if you're spending money um, on like maybe groceries or uh, going out or anything like that, you'd put that there, and then anything that you're going to roll over. This is available in my Etsy shop as well, but it is collared. I printed this out in black and white because I was out of collared ink, but it is definitely collared. Then I have an, an expense tracking sheet here. This is also listed in my Etsy shop. Um, so I keep track of all of that. This next page is blank right now, but I will come and do another video of me decorating this. This next page is for my blog planner. List of blog posts. This is just a month. So from my daily planner all the way back to the end, this is just a month. The first part, I keep three months um, of plans in there. So a list of blog posts, I'm going to list those here. My attempt and publish date is here. Um, next I have, oops, I hit my tripod there. Uh, blog sharing, cheat sheet, where do I want to share on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube, other areas. So I keep track of that there. All of these are in collar on, listed in my on my uh, Etsy shop, but I printed this in black and white. Like I said, I was out of, out of colored ink. So, but as you can see, it's cute in grayscale and black and white. So annual blog stats, so you can keep track of your views. Is it trending up or down your visitors, social shares and comments. Um, then I have a three month goal. This is undated October, November, and December are my three months. What are my goals here? And then the dates there. You can also put like a deadline for your goal there. So my month, um, goal for October is to post one time a week in planning, post one time a week, a recipe, post one time a week for my closet. So I just started a new business um, I've been with Park Lane, my Park Lane business for a year. Um, I just started my new business with Closet Candy. And so anything fashion related, I want to post once a week there. I do want to increase my followers. I want to get my views up to 500 per month. And I want to look at an ad program. So these are all my blog, my blogging goals here. My monthly planner for October is here. So this is all, like I said, available in my Etsy shop, then my weekly planner. So I can write out what I want to do per day, my blog posts down here, my notes. And then there's also a calendar here that I can fill in. So this is undated, which makes it nice because you can utilize it over and over and over again. So all of that, and it just keeps going. And then I have a brain dump section here for um, notes. My next uh, section here is orange, and you can probably tell this is for my Etsy shop. So once again, this is the same thing that I just showed you from my blog, except it's for Etsy. And then look how cute this collar is here. This is what color it would actually be um, if you printed it in color. So this is listed in my um, Etsy shop as well. So it's just a weekly planner. You could utilize that for your personal plans um, or your business plans. My next section here is blue and it is for Park Lane. Isn't that pretty? I have not filled this in. This is annual business stats. So you can keep track of your sales, your shows, and your recruits if you have a direct sell um, type business. And isn't that, it's just such a pretty color. They're jewel tones. It's really bright and very nice there with that. Um, this is the color of the weekly planner. But like I showed you a couple pages back, it can also be printed in black and white and still look cute. So you've got your teals and your blues and your pinks and your yellows. It's really, really cute, I think. And it gives you plenty of room to write each of your days down. Brain dump section, perfect for that. Plus, you can you can print these on back and 
front and back, or you can print this and then put your notes for the week on the back, which is what I do. My next section is pink. We love pink. Pink's one of my favorite colors, and this is for my closet candy. Um, of course, I wasn't with closet candy this whole year, and we don't do shows with closet candy, so I marked that completely out, um, but I will keep track of my sales um, and anyone that joins my affiliate team here. Um, and then, like I said, I just joined. So October would be my first month to actually um, trend, track those trends there with that. Um, and then back here, we've got a blue sheet. I have not added anything to that sheet yet. It is going to be... Let me get this other planner out here. My time management wheel... This is also in my Etsy shop. I think this is important um, when you feel like you're overwhelmed. You've got a lot going on, maybe at work, maybe at home, and you're like, I am not getting my to-do list done. What is going on? So you can put down here um, different colors, and you can color code this wheel. And so you're commuting, and you commute from 6 to 7. So you're in the car for an hour, and then you work from 8 over here to five so you're working that much and then you're cooking dinner till six and you know what whatever the case may be and so you can keep track of your time and what you're spending your time with but this is what's going to go on that in this blue section here which is my wellness matters so you're going to track your moods um feeling i'm going to track uh why i'm feeling this way and what change is needed and then i'm also going to track my sleep my mood and my screen time and also a productivity wheel that tells me how much how many days i did um, a certain task and what I need to focus more on. So like this one, for instance, I slept in twice, but that's really the only two days I can sleep in is on the weekends, right? I was only creative four days out of seven. So I might want to spend some more creative time finding something else to do. And then the next one is the Bible that I would really like to get up there. I only spent three days in the Bible. I want to spend seven days in the Bible. Um, also relaxation. I only spent relaxing three days, so I really would like to spend some more relaxation time. Also keep in track of your hydration. So I'm going to do that um, in that blue section. My meal planner is going to be in this purple section here. I haven't printed them out here, but you put your month and your year Sunday through Saturday. What did you eat for breakfast? What did you eat for lunch? And what did you eat for dinner? All of that is there. There is a habit tracker. It's also available in my Etsy shop, but I haven't really filled it out very well. And then the last section of my book, of this book that I carry with me everywhere, right here in this pink section is going to be my Bible verse, Just Give Me Jesus set. Um, it is also listed in the Etsy shop. You put your date here, your focus verse or your verse of the day, anything that you need to praise the Lord about. So you're just going to write what your praise report is, your spiritual health. This is um, a prayer request and a prayer that you're going to pray out loud or, you know, to the Lord in your prayer time. Brain dump, I actually changed this. I think it says notes or ideas or something here. I don't really care for this terminology here with this uh, planning set. This is just some ideas for me. Focus tasks, what I need to do. My physical health here, which is meals and hydration. And then on the other side, it's the focus verse breakdown. So you're going to take this verse from over here and you are going to basically break it down and learn all about it. So the verse of reference on this one was Isaiah 26, 4. The human author who authored this, who was the human author of this? I'm sorry. The purpose that I found of why this verse was written the application, how I can take this verse and apply it to my life. Words that pop off the page to me when I'm looking at this verse. Thankful, grateful, blessed. Things that I, I find that I'm thankful for, grateful for, and blessed about when I read this verse. And any prayer prompts from this verse. Then I take the verse and I write it down. And then I break apart the words, right? And so it's a good little daily Bible study 
Um, and I did it the month of August and September. Um, but I'm going to, like I said, put this section back here in this. And the very last section is password keepers. Because if you're anything like me, we have plenty, plenty, plenty of passwords for all of our... We have passwords for home. We have passwords for work. We have passwords for our businesses. We have tons of passwords. So that's going to go here. Um, note section is going to go here. And so that is how I plan. And look how cute this back is. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Um, this is how I plan everything. And I'm able to carry this with me. Um, and I don't have to carry one, two, three, four, five planners. I, I would, there was no way that I could carry five planners with me every single day. Um, and so I had to figure out a way that I could fit everything into a planner. And so this is my way and I am loving it so far. And I hope that this helped you that you can find a way that you can plan and be able to take it with you everywhere you go and you have everything that you need in here. And I will be back with some future videos to just show you how I customize and how I um, plan out my weeks. Um, so stay tuned and keep coming back and make sure to hit the subscribe button on my channel. So um, we will talk to you soon and have a wonderful rest of your day and make sure that you redefine your plans. Thanks. Bye.